All right, shalom, shalom, shalom. Back for another quick lesson. And first and foremost, as always, I'm going to turn to the East and give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakodash. And next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, who teach and who rule well. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith, regardless of what you will hear or forbear. All right, I'm going to be bringing out uh, some scriptures, Isaiah chapter 13, all right, on the wrath of the Lord that's getting ready to come upon the face of the earth, okay, and particularly the daughter of Babylon, all right, which is America, the land of the north, all right. This is a prophecy, okay, end time prophecy of what's getting ready to come upon this place, the ICBM missiles, the inter intercontinental, intercontinental ballistic missiles, so like you, all right, getting ready to come upon the face of the earth real soon, okay. So I'm just gonna read uh read this chapter, Isaiah chapter thirteen, and get right to it. Alright, starting at verse one, and it reads The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand, that they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones from mine anger, even them that rejoice in my highness, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of the nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. The word host means armies. All right. So he's, he's, he's grabbing, he's gathering the multitude of the nations okay, to rise up against this uh, this great whore, the daughter of Babylon, also known as America. All right, you read about this in Jeremiah chapter fifty. It says, <clears throat> "They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and the weapons of His indignation to destroy the whole land." All right, in that far country, they come from Russia, China, North Korea. All right, Iran. Okay, all these all these different. Uh, nations on the other end of heaven, the other end of of, uh, of the earth. All right. It says, verse six, Howl ye for the mighty day. Howl ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore, shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. All right. And that's that's literally that's literally, and metaphorically. All right. People, they're gonna these these tough guys, okay? They they're gonna be crying like little babies, man. All right, their heart is gonna completely melt. It says, and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. All right, because these these ICBM nuclear missiles are gonna completely uh, disintegrate and dissolve. Everything that that's in their way, all right. Let's, let's let's get let's uh get a precept on that. Matter of fact, Zechariah chapter fourteen. Let's go there. All right, Zechariah chapter fourteen, in verse um verse twelve, it says. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. You read about our enemies, all right? Our main enemy, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, all right? Uh, the um, Ishmaelites, the Arabs, the Moabites, the Chinese, the Ammonites, the Japanese, all right? It says, Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. All right, that's what's getting ready to happen. Okay, all all these uh, all these uh modern day uh, Babylonians, because it's a spiritual Babylon, spiritual Egypt. All right, the Lord is getting ready to destroy this place completely. I'll read that again. It says, Isaiah chapter thirteen and verse eight, and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold. Meaning to look, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, 
and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. All right, that's what's coming. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light because the sky is going to be completely blacked out from the smoke of the burning that's going to hit when the, when the nuclear missiles hit this place. It says, the sun shall be darkened in his going forth and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Because that's all you see. All right, proud ass people. You see, the Lord's going to, he's going to cut all that out, man. Ain't going to be none of that going on. It says, he's going to humble you prideful people greatly. It's Isaiah chapter 13, verse 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. And not just any man, but the, uh, an elect man of the nation of Israel, which once again, as always, we always say, consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. It says, therefore, will I, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his, his fierce anger. All right. And the heavens going into this rulership, he's going to shake it, break it. All right. He's going to completely take it down. You see? All right. Verse 14. And it shall be as a chaste, as the chaste roe, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee every one into his own land. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Everyone that's joined unto, unto the wicked, Esau, Edom, because a lot of our people, two-thirds, are uh, going to uh, rise up against the truth, are uh, rising up against the, the men that the Lord set up, the prophets, all right, to tell you what's getting ready to come upon the face of the earth, okay? And they're going to be, they're going to take uh, the side of Esau, Edom, all right? And, and when we receive the, that spiritual power, okay, we're going we're gonna to take them down, all right? They're going to be taken down with Esau. All right, let's get uh, verse, let's see, verse 16. It says, Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. Behold, I will stir up the meads against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. All right. And uh, the Medes, okay, the Persians and the Medes back in those times were the ones who took down the Assyrian Babylonian kingdom. All right, so he's gonna he's gonna rise up. He's gonna raise up the uh, nations of the east to take down modern day Babylon. All right, it says, <clears throat> verse seventeen. We we'll read again. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. So you can't pay them off. All right, and they already got them Gurkha troops, them splinter cells, just waiting here. Okay, there's gonna be war on American soil. All right, it says. Verse 18, their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, Babylon, which is America, the glory of kingdoms, and the beauty of the Chaldees. The Chaldees were uh, high-level witches and warlocks back in ancient Babylon. All right, and the same way that that, uh, that society was ran, and governed by witches and warlocks is the same way that the daughter of Babylon is America. All right. It says, and it shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah with fire and brimstone. You see, he's going to he's going to he's going to send those ICBM nuclear missiles, the weapons of his indignation. All right. The waster to destroy this place. Holy. Verse 20. It shall never be inhabited. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch their pitch tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures. And owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there. All right, so there's, no, there's not going to be any more human occupation. All right, nothing but desert creatures are going to dwell in this place. Okay, once the Lord makes this place a perpetual desert by way of nuclear fire. Verse 22. And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. So this place is on a ticking time clock, all right? The Lord already has the appointed uh, time and day when he's going to destroy this place, all right? And, uh, you know, he sent his prophets out to, to prophesy the downfall of the daughter of Babylon, which is America, all right? And to tell you, children of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and those who may look like other nations, okay? But your forefathers go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. By way of your father, all right, 
you have the spirit of the Lord resting upon you. Okay. The hopeful elect. We calling you, telling you, you know, to, to repent, turn back to the Lord, and obey the law, such commandments at the best of your ability. All right. Prepare yourself, keep yourself exercised on these prophecies. Okay, so you know what's coming. Because wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and the strength of thy salvation. But uh, that's all I got for right now. With that being said, Lord's will, this was edifying to the elect, wherever you may be scattered across the four winds of heaven, the four corners of the earth. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Until next time, Shalom.